Carolina Bay, which is kind of a, a misnomer because Carolina Bays don't get their name from, uh, when you think of bay, you think of like body of water, and that's not the case at all. Um, where they get the name bay is from the trees that grow three different types of uh, bay trees, loblolly, red bay, and sweet bay. And that's where they get their name. The Carolina Bay is from the bays, bay trees that grow around here. There's various theories as to how they were formed. Um, it is a mystery. When we get children come out here, that's one of the, the great things we do. We give kids a chance to kind of come up with their own theories. So we've heard everything of, you know, prehistoric spawning grounds for fish to everything from huge meteor showers um, to dinosaur footprints is probably one of my personal favorite. Um, that there was just a group of dinosaurs, I guess, that hung out along, you know, this portion of the map, and that's what we're seeing today are their footprints. Uh, the most widely accepted theory is that of the oriented lakes theory which takes into consideration the fact that the bays are all found in that same elliptical shape and that same pattern from the northwest to the southeast direction so all of what you take at one time it was completely covered by water so when you had what the theory says is you had the wind activity which actually carved out some of these depressions by the, the current the, the wind activity and then as that water receded you know thousands of years you had these these depressions that formed these lakes there's a sand rim that's actually along the southeastern portion of of the lake itself which is typical um, with these carolina bays and then throughout the the majority of the bays that you find like i said all up the atlantic the atlantic coast a lot of those lakes have have filled in over time with vegetation and there are very few lakes that remain singletary lake and jones lake right here you know being being some of those lakes